Okay, this is gonna be a video on how to remove. We have a heater motor in this car and it's making a terrible noise. Now, the way you take this down, this is up here, okay? And there's one screw hole and you do it by hand. It's just got this little nut on there. You spin that off by hand. Then it was 10 millimeter to get to these three bolts. Uh, let's see if I can show you this. There's that, there's one of them. See that white? There's three bolts like that and, and then a plug right here. You pull that plug out. We're gonna drop this motor. We're gonna show it to you live. We're gonna see what's in there. But let me turn this on and show you what it's doing. So the car was fine. It sat through the winter under a cover. But I think squirrels got to it. Listen to this. You hear that? Oh my God, right? It's blowing. Okay. So now we want to see what, what, what is making that noise. I am hoping that it was just squirrels. So let me put the camera in a position that hopefully you could see me whip this down real quick. I actually think that these bolts will probably be in there. Uh, you know, the camera was my light. I don't have my light anymore. Now, normally, yeah, it's, it's actually spinning out by hand. Now, normally, I would actually uh, take the plug out first. I'm going to leave the plug. Oh, where's the other bolt? I'm going to leave the plug because... Oh, that one ain't got... That one ain't coming out by hand. I'm going to leave the plug in there because uh, if I just find dirt in there, I'm probably going to whip it right back in. Although it would be easiest for me to get the plug out now. Really, that would be my best. That, let's see if I can spin it by hand now. Yep. All right. Hey, and people, don't hate on me. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a regular guy like you trying to uh, save a little money. Where I can. Now, where's that third bolt? Oh, that third bolt's real close to the front. Now, again, I can't get them out by hand. There should be only three. Now, if I take this out and the motor makes noise in my hand, well, then I'm just going to go to the local auto parts store, throw the three bolts back in, and it'll be back together in, in minutes. This is a very easy job. Not like when you have a, a Crown Victoria or something. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was only three bolts. Maybe it's four. No, nope, it's three. Okay. Let's see what comes out of here. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you think... Do you think a squirrel was living in there? <laughs> oh, my God. Would you look at that? And it's moving. I'm almost scared to touch it. It's still moving slowly. <laughs> so this was my problem. Oh, this is disgusting. I don't even want to take this out in the car. Oh, my God. So you got to see this live. Um, that's what was in there. At least the squirrel didn't chew up any of the plastic. Uh, he decided to make a home in the heater blower motor. To me, that's kind of good because that's the first point of entry of air. So he was just settling out above that. I'm going to get up there with a shop vac and try to clean out anything that might be left in there. And this is going to be fine. So <laughs> clean this and put this back. Yeah, let me see. Maybe I can't pull it out. If it comes out in one piece smoothly. Oh, my God. Okay, you ready? Let's turn this on now. Let's see what it does. It's probably going to jump across the floor. Not bad. It feels pretty solid. Okay. We're going to put this back together after I clean that out. Look at this. Holy cow. Do you believe what was in there? Mice? I don't know what did that one, but not a good thing. All right, people. You got to see that live right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't think I have to put the back in. You saw that it was quiet. I don't think I have to put it back in and show you it. But very easy to change the heater blower motor. Take care.